We're back. It's day two, and we're ready to des desecrate these <laughs> mushrooms. Let's desecrate them. <laughs> Decorate, but en français. So what we're gonna be doing is we have um, these little mushroom caps. Now we missed having the baking tray for oh. these because we rented them for one day, but they're gone. But they basically made this shape. Yeah, you can you can either shape them with by hand or you can shape them with a mold, whatever you want to do. The cups helped because they kind of cooked around the outside, but mm -hmm. they're basically a round bumpy tray. We'll show a picture of it. And maybe yeah. explain that you filled them with modeling chocolate. Um, we took the cookies, or the shells, we filled them with modeling chocolate so that one, they're full of something, and two, they will be able to hold the stems in them nicely. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to take those cookies and we're going to dip them in chocolate that we have melted and colored. Um, we've got this nice red color and we've got this soft brown color depending on what kind of mushy boys you want to make. So. I'm probably going to start dipping these stems first. You're going to dip the stems first? Yeah. Okay. I will start with dipping the caps then. That's great. And what have you got in that bowl, Trista? I have white chocolate in this bowl as well. Okay. And then you've got what in there? And this is cooking powder. Cooking cocoa powder. <laughs> cocoa powder to dip it in after. Well, I mean, chocolate does help you cope. <laughs> coping powder. <laughs> Do you want a wax paper? That would be lovely. Okay. You don't want too thick of a layer of chocolate, or you do, I don't know. I can't make those decisions for you. I like the way you stabbed that mushroom butt. <laughs> This is my mom. Can I tell you a secret? We said that today was the next day, but it's actually been over a month. <laughs> Christmas was a thing and I'm a mom. That didn't happen in a month. Shh. No, 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 I didn't have a baby in a month. I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not a miracle worker, but I mean like I am, but. I'm running out of chocolate over here. What color are the sparkles when you close your eyelids? Let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> Mine are typically green or purple. Mine are usually like a pinky yellow color. Maybe you can tell us the legends of the the, the grizzly wind bear? The grizzly wind bear. So my daughter came home one day with legends. She's in first or kindergarten, keep in mind. And I guess there's some legend about a, something called the grizzly wind bear. And the grizzly wind bear is this elusive bear that can open doors. It likes to strike people and park cars. Yeah. Jumps out of puddles. It's known. It is known. It is known. Um, there's not much more to the legend. It's just the grizzly wind bear, which sounds super ominous, <laughs> and I'm kind of about that. It claws out the eyes of its enemies and jumps out of puddles. I don't know what's more terrifying than that. And attacks you in your parked car. That's the worst. You're not safe anywhere. I mean, yeah, that <laughs> sounds pretty awful. I always feel so safe in my car. That's where, I, I, that's where the grizzly, <clears throat> grizzly wind bear is waiting to get you. His favorite prey is those that are inside of a Mazda. Oh. So don't drive a Mazda or you'll get caught by the grizzly wind bear. Are you feeling a little salty against the Mazda tonight? I'm... Yeah. Not pro Mazda, apparently. I've been driving for a while, but uh, I recently acquired a 
1998 standard Mazda pickup truck. And I love this thing. We haven't gotten to know each other for very long, but I love it. But uh, it did me dirty today. And I'm not to blame for any of this. It's 100% the truck. But uh, I tried to back out of my parking parking spot with it because I'm still learning to drive at the standard. Um, and uh, I stalled nine times trying to reverse two feet. And I feel that the truck has slighted me personally. Have you ever been slighted by a truck? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> she feels spiteful about the truck. I'm a Virgo. I'm spiteful about everything. I guess that checks out. <laughs> now you know more things about me. Some people like to keep secrets. I don't. I'm not good at it. I get excited and tell everybody everything all the time. Christmas is really rough. <laughs> it's July and it's like, ooh, I got a Christmas present for someone. Shh, cry, cr crikey. Can't swear. <laughs> I can't tell anyone about it for six months. It's hard to cope. My coping mechanism is this. And the smiles of young faces, bright in the early morn. If I was a mushroom, I would be this one. Because it ain't quite right. <laughs> Got enough for it? I know when somebody ain't quite right. Just as a, you could put in there and talk about, you know, ADHD. I could. Yeah, you could. This is an ADHD awareness channel. Just so you know, my meds have worn off. Sometimes, so that I can function, I keep my shoes on. Oops. Um, what else do I do that's weird that's ADHD? Not weird. I'm just a f person trying to function. Why don't you talk about your journey about it? Uh... Yeah, okay. I could do that. I so, mean, from the time that I was conceived, my mom knew I was ADHD, not born, conceived. Um, and I was born in the 90s. I'm not going to age myself, let you know how old I am. But I was born in the 90s. Ancient. And. Pure oh, bun! We'll just <laughs> fix that one. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was born in the 90s. All they really had available at the time was Ritalin, which from what my mom understood at the time, kind of turned you into a zombie. She didn't want that for me. Why would you want to hide all of this? <laughs> so, uh, wasn't until I was older um, that I finally decided I wanted my diagnosis. So I went and got ADHD papers saying, that the doctor could give me the good drugs. And so my doctor prescribed me one medication and it actually caused me not to... Poop. <laughs> not to poop for 16 days straight. Now, I'm not a professional, but I don't think that's healthy. No, so you should poop every day. Nice and wash your hands. <laughs> Every time? Every time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't poop for 16 days, and I also found that food tasted like cardboard. Didn't matter if it was my favorite thing in the world, which is mac and cheese and hot dogs, by the way, because I'm an adult. But I couldn't stomach food, and I ended up losing, what was it, like 80 pounds? Yeah. Insert chunky picture of Caitlin. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, don't, don't do that, please. Yeah. <laughs> um lost like 80 pounds, realized that that medication was probably not the best for me, so I tried something else, turned me into a sociopath for a little while there, um, and then I tried another medication, and it worked okay for a while, 
And then I had to try another medication because that one stopped working. And here I am. But along the way, I did a lot of like educating myself on ADHD because there's a lot of stigma around it. People are like, oh, that just means that you can't focus. It's quite the opposite. I have a superpower. Most people don't have it. I can focus so hard on something that the world no longer exists. Which is troublesome when you're a parent. Because, you know, you got a parent. Kids need attention. Um, I don't know what else. That's where your family helps you out. And yeah. reminds you that you oh. need to focus. If anybody out there is watching this and they also have ADHD, I just want you to know, on those days where you try and get things done and you can't do the thing, you're not lazy. It's called executive dysfunction, and it sucks, but it's not anything wrong with you. It's like a, you're stalling, like a car, kind of, I don't know. It's yeah, like you, kinda it's- Kind of like the truck. Yeah, kind of like the truck. You could just kind of go, eh, and then you stall, and you can't do anything, you can't move, you can't go forward, you can't go backward, you're just stuck there, and you're trying to accomplish a task, but your engine is not working. The engine is your brain. And so you just sit down and cry. Or hyper focus on something that's gonna give you all that good dopamine. In this container, I have some <laughs> chopped up white chocolate, and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of the white ones to give them that like polka dotty. You think that it's okay to just interrupt me? I'm talking about my feelings. That was a beautiful moving story. It was filler. <laughs> it's not filler. I think that's pretty important for people to hear. ADHD awareness. Oh, yeah. You're not lazy. You're just... Deficient. S stuck. Deficient in dopamine. So go do something that gives you dopamine, or something that resets your brain to put it in a different space. Or call your mom and she'll tell you to get started. That's actually true. Um, there's a term called body doubling that is used for people with ADHD. Um, our brains perceive having other people around as a time when we need to hold ourselves accountable. Do you have like a little sieve in that drawer there? This one? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah, it... I saw from like a convention for ADHD awareness, this guy and he had like a ball cap on and a band-aid on the front of the ball cap. And when it was explained to me, it's like, it's an unseen, I don't want to say illness because you're not sick, but like an, un an unseen struggle. Something that people, if you don't have it, you don't see it, you don't understand. And most people with ADHD are really good at masking, which means that your behavior is adjusted to fit like, like a chameleon. It's adjusted to fit in with wherever you're located so that you can fit in. People with autism often do it too. Because your normal self versus your public self are two very different things. Now everybody masks. Everybody acts differently in public than they do. But it's changing so that you can... Again, I'm off my bed, so I'm struggling here. <laughs> it's changing so that you can fit in so that other people don't see you as different, rather than just being yourself. You should stop touching the wet chocolate. I've gathered. These look really nice. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about myself anymore. Okay, don't. It was just something that I thought, you know... How many you... seagulls do you think you could fight off at once? 17 with my fists and 48 with a bat. <laughs> That's impressive. I really don't like seagulls. They've stolen too much from me. One stole a hot dog from me, but it only took the wiener. I remember I was you were left being with a rude bun. and one pooped right in your hand. And I was so happy that day because you deserved it. Was that in Alcatraz? Sure was. I went to prison. <laughs> <laughs> 
know. <laughs> when I was a kid, or we, we went on a family trip down to San Francisco and went to Alcatraz. We got a new hoodie out of the poop, poop incident, though. So that's cool. I wish I kept that hoodie. But it had color on it when I was in my... Not emo phase, but like my all-black phase. Got rid of it. We gotta let these set for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and attach the mushrooms to the bottoms and hopefully they'll be cute. Let's go. Okay, there so we go. So we've got some edible glitter and because we're basic white girls, we love shiny things. Sparkles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these fairy mushrooms. Pro tip, don't put this in your coffee. It makes it chunky and not in a good not way. Not chunky, but you just don't want glitter in it. Anyway, oh. we're gonna start attaching the heads now, right? No, we're gonna put them in the freezer. Oh, we're gonna put them in the freezer. I'm a silly goose. <clears throat> I'm just silly as turkeys. Honk! Honk, honk. Get me back in the pond. Get back in the pond, you silly <laughs> goose. Will Lego marry me? He doesn't have enough ears. <laughs> he has two ears. Years. Oh. You don't know that. How old is he? Uh, I think we figured it out from Brent that Lego is seven. I think he'll be seven or eight this year. And he was born in August. He is a Leo. Well, was he born in August? Yep. Yeah. So, I learned something new today. There's a ballet form where it's not ballet with your feet, but with your hands. <laughs> and it's just like like that. Is it? I don't want to say mean things because somebody's dedicated their life to it. But uh, That's silly though, isn't it? it's. Definitely, definitely. Weird. <laughs> I mean, like, you, if you, you did the ballet very well. And thank you. you the ballet classes boop, that I sent boop, you to. Boop, went, uh, boop, 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 boop. Like, oh. I'm sober. Yeah. You're exciting. You are. Except You're when it happens at 4 o'clock in the morning because you phone me and tell me facts. That part's not so exciting. I just assume that if I'm awake, everyone else is awake. <laughs> Waiting for me. Yes, that was a problem when you were a small child as well. <laughs> Why would you need to sleep? I'm already awake. Is the sun shine for you as well? No. That's silly. I shine for the sun. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you are my sparkle. How come you don't call me Sprout anymore? Because you finished sprouting. You're just getting chunky now. <laughs> You're not getting chunky. A little bit. No. You're doing fine. There's nothing wrong with the little heft. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is nothing wrong with it. However, you're not getting chunky and you finished growing, so you're no longer a sprout. It's not fair mm. that I'm only 5'4". I know it's not fair that I'm only 5'4". I'm sorry, that's all I had to give you. <laughs> Maybe if you mated with a taller man, I would have longer legs. I wouldn't look like somebody tried to take a, a person and put them in one of those compressors. She did date a man with longer legs and she made me, and I'm taller than you. Yeah, <coughs> and you look like a wispy willow tree of doom. I'm she jealous. does kind of look like a wispy willow tree of doom. <laughs> That means, but it's provocative. <laughs> anyway, let's going. get this going. Rise!
Use your words nicely. Brethren! Be nice to me! Come with me to war! <laughs> I will bring my foot ballet. Or my hand ballet. <laughs> Let's stick some shrooms together. Hey! Rage. Don't throw my things. Sorry, Mommy. Thank you. I'll behave. These aren't dry yet, you impatient... S Brussels sprout! <laughs> I'm not a person. I still swore. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. It's so cute. Why don't you get the board, Caitlin? And you guys can put them down in front. Who? Here's the muffin man. The muffin man? The muffin man! I want you to get a close-up of me whispering sultry words into my sister's ears. Sultry, you say? Yeah. Sensual, if you will. Oh, I like that one. Mm hmm <laughs> I love the way you look at us like Alex did with glasses. <laughs> Well, that's so I can see out of the bottom and the top at the same time. Two, one, go. <laughs> and that's it for our mushroom cookies. Caitlin is enjoying one right now. Shh, leave me alone. <laughs> um, that's that. I made this. We made she also this. grew the mushrooms. Mm, yeah, these are the oyster mushrooms that I... Sorry. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we would like to keep doing this in the future. So comment what you have as suggestions below, and maybe we'll do them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oops, I did the icing on the cake.